Hello everyone, I'm R.K. Walker here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Today with me is Gert Kirsten, CEO of CellSci Corporation. Welcome, Gert. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, your company has a fascinating history. Uh, <laughs> cancer has many treatments, but yours is novel and you hope revolutionary. It's called immunotherapy, immune therapy, correct? Correct. Why don't you give us a little bit of background on your company and your, your treatment protocols? I've been at this for a long time for one simple reason. We think our immunotherapy can actually revolutionize the way we treat cancer. Immunotherapy, the immune system ought to be a part of the fight against cancer. By now everybody agrees. For 20 years people said you're crazy, this will never happen. Now we've taken it one step further. When should I boost your immune system? While it's still healthy or after radiation and chemo when it's destroyed? Now everybody says you should boost it before. Yet, every cancer immunotherapy other than ours is being developed for cancer patients who have already received surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. What's left? What are the chances of their success? So we think you ought to run a phase three study and get your drug approved for an indication where you're most likely to succeed. That means patients who have not yet had any treatments, surgery, radiation, or chemo. However, that's not so easy. And because you're limited, you only have a short time period. Most cancer immunotherapies cannot be used in that short time period. Ours can. And we think that by boosting an immune system of a patient who's just been diagnosed, but whose immune system has not yet been destroyed with radiation and chemo, we have the greatest chance of success. And that is the revolution. Make the first cancer treatment more curative. You're, you're your, uh, your drug is uh, multi-cline. Your treatment is multi-cline. Uh, why don't you give us a little more information about that? multi is a mixture of 14 cytokines. Cytokines are the substances that uh, regulate your immune system. We essentially make, in its most basic form, a copy of a healthy person's immune system. Now that sounds simple, but it cost $100 million to develop and validate that process, and we built a $25 million real manufacturing plant in Maryland, and this has already been inspected twice by the European in investigators. When you build these vaccines to have the body fight its own tumor, do you have to customize for each type of cancer? I'm so glad you asked that question. That's what's so incredibly cool about it. If you look at cancer immunotherapy, almost everybody has to make it personalized. That's super expensive, very difficult, difficult to sell, and all of those things. Ours is a mass-produced product. We have a plant, full-scale plant in Maryland. When I inject that product in your body next to your tumor, or in mine, it becomes completely specific to your tumor, to my tumor, to anybody else's tumor, and as we see with the Navy work, against a virus too. Then it vaccinates the body against that specific virus or that specific tumor. And that's important because if we all had the same tumor implanted today, within three months we would have different antigens. It's like we all have a house key, but they only work on our house. That is another part of the revolution. It doesn't exist today. It's a copy of a healthy person's immune system. That's why it works. And you've already passed phase two, you're now in phase three, but phase three has had a lot of trouble, correct? Uh, what, how are you now compared to, say, a year ago? Very interesting. We started this phase three with all kinds of safeguards, and then something happened that we absolutely not, never expected. We hired a great CRO, a company to run the study throughout the world. It got acquired. The team working on our study, all experts, left. We went through four teams. Performance got worse and worse and worse and worse. Enrollment got worse and worse and worse and worse. Wall Street figured that the drug did not work. It, management, a bunch of idiots, whatever. Stock fell out of bed. And we had to hire a new group. Now, interestingly, the new group had put in 10 million of their own money. And they only get their money back, plus a profit, from the sale of the product. It is amazing what $10 million of your own money will do to your work ethic. We are now seeing massively increased enrollment. So if people thought in the olden days the drug didn't work, well, it's working really, really well now because we have increased enrollment well over 1,000% and every month is going better. 
And do you think you'll meet your goals to fulfill the uh, enough participants in phase three? Absolutely. 18 months ago, people had written us off saying we would never finish it. No one is saying that anymore. When, when do you anticipate now that it's going to complete? The end of this year. It will be the largest cancer study ever done in head and neck cancer. Will the, the study itself be done at that point or just the, the, enroll, the enrollment? Just the enrollment. At that point, you have to wait for 298 events, which is a nice way of saying 298 people must die in the study to find out if you have a 10% increase in overall survival. If Multikine is, is as successful as you hope, do you see applications in other areas as well? It's always the same. Your treatment options in cancer these days are surgery, radiation, and chemo, or any combination thereof. All of the great advances have happened for late stage dying cancer patients. We are trying to increase the cure rate, basically, in the first treatment by adding immunotherapy. So instead of 50%, maybe we'll have 60% survival. Why wouldn't you take that concept and take it to breast cancer, cervical cancer, skin cancer, all kinds of other diseases? We are also working with the US Navy on a completely different disease. We're working on a virus with the exact same product that's in phase three study for head and neck. Did you say phase three? No, that's not in phase three, that's in phase one with the Navy. The US Navy is running the study at San Diego Naval Base in HIV infected men and women with HPV related diseases. What are the timelines for these studies? Which is gonna complete first? The head and neck studies should be completed by 2017. Just for full disclosure, I'm now a 10% uh, holder of CellSci. I significantly increased my position last year. I figured the stock was so low, it, the great opportunity. And I know things are going well. Um, the HPV, HIV, HPV work is very interesting. This is a disease that didn't exist 10 years ago. It's now a huge problem in the HIV infected population. So there could be a way to get to market much faster because those are short endpoints. And if you can do that, then you can start generating revenue, which will help you expand your product lines, correct? Most definitely. But the whole thing here is I believe our drug is a revolutionary drug because it involves the immune system right up front. Imagine, from your own experience or those of friends, when someone has cancer, what happens? They don't want to do surgery, radiation, chemo, right? They want to boost the immune system. They will go Fight it naturally. To, exactly. They rush to vitamins, they rush to herbs, whatever. There's no medicine. We are creating that medicine. That's the revolution. Going back to your phase two study, because I know you can't discuss the results of phase three yet, you had some actual cases of uh, cancer being eliminated from, from, uh, during the treatment. Can you tell us, do you anticipate the same kind of results uh, where you actually just disappear so there's nothing left to treat? Our study is blinded, but we're hearing very good things. By the way, I want to point out, we only treat for three weeks. So 12% of our patients have zero tumor left in three weeks, which is unbelievably fast. The goal is not even to eliminate the whole tumor, it's to eliminate the micrometastases. You don't die from the tumor, you die from the micrometastases. And that was in phase two you discovered that? Phase two, and in phase three, we're hearing good things. One of the reasons why enrollment is taking off is because once surgeons have treated a small number of patients, they see the benefit of the drug. They've told us that. They get comfortable with it. And then they recommend to patients that they enroll in the study. Uh, this year, your stock's seen a lot of increased interest uh, in the first uh, couple months of the year. Uh, any idea why? Well, we're probably the lowest priced phase three company for major product in the world. Why? Because it looked like we would never finish the phase three, which would mean what? We would go out of business. Except now it's enrolling extremely well. So there has to be a readjustment. If you look at a phase three company in cancer immunotherapy, one of the hot spaces, we ought to be worth at least a billion dollars. Okay, we have 360 people enrolled. We're in 18 countries, major countries like the US, Canada, Britain, France, Austria the valuation ought to be at least a billion dollars. And that is why I'm at a 10% uh, shareholding. And once again, all of these problems uh, are related to the failed uh, phase three study earlier when the, the company running it did not live up to their contractual obligations. 
and you have a, a, an arbitration claim against them. Uh, can you tell how is that going? Well, it's arbitration. I really can't talk about that. But I can tell you it was filed almost 18 months ago. So that's a long time for it to be taken. We have a trial coming up very soon. Um, we fully expect to win. That was one of the factors uh, in my decision to so significantly increase our, our position. The importance of this is not the money. Money you can always get if you have a promising product. The importance is to show Wall Street and all of our investors that the, it was not the drug that was responsible for the, for the very, very slow enrollment. And money on top of it will be very nice. Maybe we'll become fully funded. And so you encourage investors to take another look at your stock. Uh, any closing thoughts? We've stu I've stuck with this for 25 years. The people with me, our team, have stuck with me for 15 to 20 years. Where do you find a group like that? They're all smart. They're dedicated. And we're all convinced that this is a new way of treating cancer, making the very, very first cancer treatment more successful. And it will save a lot of lives and a huge amount of money. Gert. On that note, we shall conclude things for now. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank again our guest, Gert Kirsten, from CEO of CellSci Corporation. I'm R.K. Walker. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.